I'm not working this weekend, Jerry. Lucy! Every day I go and I sit in a booth like a veal. I, I work every holiday. I go home to a cat. For Lucy, loneliness was a way of life. Joe Jr. is still single. Yeah, it's shocker. But the moment she saw Peter, she became a believer in love at first sight. He was perfect. Then fate stepped in. Oh! Mister, there's a train coming! Oh, God, you smell good. Now she's part of his life. He's in a coma. Oh, I was going to marry him. Who's she? She's his fiance. No, no, no. Peter's engaged. She saved his life. Part of his family. Who's this? Marriage my, um, Lucy's uh, going to marry my brother Peter. What? I didn't mean for this to happen. I don't know what to do. Don't tell them a thing. Well, since they met you, they figure they have Peter back. They need you, Lucy. Just like you need them. Come on, everybody. And the grandmother, they just got this heart thing. She had three attacks already. Now, you tell them now, and you might as well shoot Grandma. Oh. That's right. You haven't met Jack yet. Welcome to the family. Oh, thank you. It's funny. My brother never mentioned you. Which one of the three stooges was Peter's favorite? Curly. Curly. He's everybody's favorite. Fact is, you're not really Peter's type. All right, whose type am I? I like blondes. You like brunettes. You make it everybody else's dreams in love come true, but in your own life. I know that it's okay. While Mary was planning everyone else's love life, she didn't have one of her own. Mary, you haven't been on a date in two years. You can't avoid love forever. You know those who can't do teach? Those who can't wed? Plan. So fate stepped in. <sighs> Are you okay? You saved my show and my, my life. You're the guy. I'm the supervising pediatrician here. Mary and I, we're gonna go to Golden Gate Park. They show old movies and uh, you should come with us. <laughs> well, we won't take no for an answer. This is by far the coolest thing I've ever done in this city. Wanna dance? Now, for the first time, her love life and her work life were a match made in heaven. You're gonna be a partner? But I gotta get the account first. Mary, meet my parents and mother, as previously discussed in detail. You won't be singing at the wedding. All right, wedding woman. <laughs> mm, you give my little girl whatever she wants. No expense spared. You can finally meet my fiancé, Eddie. Come here. Eddie, this is Mary, the wedding planner. forget I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her you're born you're born you know it you wouldn't be here if there wasn't something missing Arrogant son of a bitch you just stay with me? Stay with you? What for? Look at us. We're already fighting. Well, that's what we do. We fight. You tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch, and I tell you when you're being a pain in the ass, which you are 99% of the time. I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings. They have like a two-second rebound rate, and you're back doing the next pain in the ass thing. So what? So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. And we're going to have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you, forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> Will you do something for me? Please, you just picture your life for me. 30 years from now, 40 years from now, what's it look like? If it's with that guy, go. Go! I lost you once. I think I could do it again. If I thought it's what you really wanted. But don't you take the easy way out. What easy way? There is no easy way. No matter what I do, somebody gets hurt. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's... do you want? What do you want? That's all! Wouldn't it be nice?
booty. Same. Look at this hand, dude. What's up? There he is. You alright? Mm-hmm. You know something? You were right. You've always been right. What have I been so right about? Women. You just have fun with them. You get emotionally involved and they end up they and what do they do to you? They rip your heart out of your ass. That's right. Did uh something happen with Julia? I went on that double date, right? And the moron she's gonna marry actually tells me he cheats on her. But can I tell her? No, I mean who am I to break up her marriage? You need a prostitute. Anyways, I'm confused. Well, because you like her. I think I'm in love with her. But I gotta get that out of my head, you know? And now I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna be like you, man. I'm just gonna be with a different chick every night, and then I'll send them packing. Sounds like you got it all figured out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to give him cab money to go home because I'll feel bad if I don't. But after that, it's bye-bye, Birdie. Bye-bye. That's it, man, starting right now. Me and you are gonna be free and happy the rest of our lives. I, I'm not happy. I, I'm miserable. I love you. You? Just shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. Wow, look. The bark is healing. You're gonna get there. Now, I never hung out with you in the afternoon like this. And this lighting, man, oh, man, you look uh, disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how you get me to fall for that egg-shaped head every morning. Whoa, all I have to do is slide on my designer jeans and just kind of wiggle in front of you. You go nuts. Why couldn't I have met you one day before the accident? Don't worry, because if you hung out with me for more than one day, you'd realize I'm a bore. Oh, well, I have news for you. Yes? It takes less than one day. You know something that hurt? Your damaged temporal lobe is causing me pain, and I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> now you're dead. Oh, I'll make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. All I wanna do is grow old with you. I'll get you medicine. When your tummy aches Build you a fire if the furnace breaks Oh, it could be so nice Growing old with you I'll miss you, kiss you Give you my coat when you are cold Need you, feed you and let you hold the remote control So let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink Put you to bed when you've had too much to drink Oh, I could be the man Who grows old with you I wanna grow with you Take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold. From this day forth, 
as long as you both shall live. I do. Really? Even though in like 10, 15 years, she could possibly let herself go and then like, sex could be like nauseating for you. What are you, not your wife's right over there? I just kill him, Mumu. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. cold outside, so when you're ready, put on a jacket and come have breakfast with me. Love ya.